going to share something with y'all. That might put me in a very negative light, yeah. Relationships are not my forte. You see if someone grabbed up my wife for saying completely different ball game. I'll walk away from here, and this has been like a therapy session. This is Joe Pugh for IFL TV, proudly sponsored by Everlast. Delighted to be joined here in Leeds with Hopi Price after his public workout. First of all, how are you, mate? I'm all good, mate. Yourself? Very well, thank you. Let's get straight into it then. Another big night for you in Leeds, topped by Josh Warrington versus Lopez in a really hard fight. Great opportunity for you to get out under the lights on a big night like this. Definitely, you know, another great opportunity for myself to fight back here in my hometown. Um, not many chance. I get to fight at home and when I have done, I love it, you know, fighting in front of my own fans. I always look to put on a special performance and always look to steal the show, so that's what I'm trying to do again this weekend. Talk to me about your opponent, I believe from Spain, durable. How much do you know about him? Not much, you know, I think um, you sort of expect the unexpected, you know what you're getting with them. They're all tough, they're all durable. Um, so it's just about being the best version of myself, really. and. Um, doing a good job and, and looking good doing so. Just going through your year as a whole, I think this is your third time out this year. You had a little back injury halfway through the year. That's kind of stumbled, probably missed out on one more fight that you would have liked to have had. But going into 2023, all about activity, then maybe pushing on to titles by the end of the year? Yeah, definitely. Uh, for, for uh, the beginning of the year, hopefully, um, if I'd have got another fight in between, I'd have been having a title fight here on this show. So um, just the back injury knocked me back a little bit. But um, definitely after this fight, next fight, I want to be a title fight. So um, looking for the title next year in 2023. Obviously not overlooking this opponent, but moving in to next year, there's a lot of domestic names out there at the minute. Who tickles your fancy? Who do you, would you like to go in with next year? You know, there's a lot of good domestic names in the Super Bantamweight division and the belts are swapping and changing like no tomorrow. So for me, it's not about the opponents, it's who's got the belt. So whoever's got the belts next year, I'll be looking to fight and, and, and looking to take out, you know. It's not so much the opponent, it's whoever's got the belts for me. For you then on Saturday night, do you want to make a statement to announce yourself on that domestic scene? Yeah, definitely. I think uh, I want to look good doing so. Make a big statement this weekend, but I think uh, they already know anyway. So they already they already know I'm coming for them belts. 100%. And it's going to be a bit of a strange night. Well, I say night afternoon starts at half one. For you, is it all business? Then sit back, relax, watch the football, then watch Josh. Strictly business. Flatten him early and then watch the football. Watch the football and then watch Warren. And I think that, that that's the best way to put it. I think. Um, I prefer it, you know, instead of waiting about all day, get it over and done with. A fight's a fight to me, if I fight at one in the day, ten at night, it's all the same. Obviously, like, in the amateur days, you're kind of used to earlier fights, but you've now been pro now for a good couple of years. Have you got to change your body clock? Have you got to adjust your t uh, training times? No, I think I always spar, usually around about that time anyway, so I always train and spar through the day, so it's more when I fight on the night, normally on the show, that, that's a different part. So this would just be normal, business as usual. Uh, just a quick word on the gym. Obviously, Lerone Richards was meant to be out a few weeks ago. Is he? How's he doing? First of all, yeah, he's okay. You know, um, everything's fine now. Um, obviously, it's just been a bit of a nightmare the past couple of months of the gym. Really, obviously, we had John and Gill. He fell short at world level against Kiko, and um, he's doing okay now. And Lerone Richards, obviously, what happened with him? He's been out a year, you know, so it's been a pr very frustrating year for him. Very frustrating couple of weeks for the gym. So uh, it's down to me, you know, to end the gym on a high, you know. I'm going to put on a special performance and uh, get the gym back to the way it was. What's next, you think, for Jordan Gill? Has he spoke to yourself, maybe Dave, about his future in the sport? Uh, he hasn't said too much yet, you know. Um, he's, he's speaking to Dave and I think... Uh, I think you'll have to speak to him and see see what he wants to do next and uh, I think he'll let everyone know. I was speaking to Isaac Lowe last week and he was really vocal about that fight. That'd be a really good fight. They're both coming off losses. I know Isaac just come back with a win on the undercard of Fury's fight, but crossroads fight. It makes perfect sense at this time, I think. Um, the fight's been spoken about for quite a bit now between Isaac and uh, Jordan. 
and obviously uh, he's just come off well he just won the weekend but he's coming off two losses Jordan's obviously coming off a loss so I think it makes more sense than ever to make that fight you know it's still a big domestic fight from a big money fight for both of them so it makes perfect sense you've been on Josh's cards before but can I get a prediction for the main event on Saturday night yeah I think Warren and wins I think Lopez is uh, he, he's a game he's, he's managed to challenge for a reason he's a big puncher I think Josh has been in with big punches before I think he knows he's a learn from the Lara fight not to stand there fight with these too early you know I think um, I think he beats Lopez yeah excellent hi Pete thank you very much speaking to IFL once again and catch you again then throughout the week see you mate oh, see you later mate see you mate I'm going to share something with you that might put me in a very negative light, yeah. Relationships are not my forte. You see if someone grabbed up my wife and saying, completely different ballgame. I'll walk away from here and this has been like a therapy session.